Okay, well, uh, welcome to Finance Talk. This is Saturday morning on March 17th of 2018. So uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting talk today. I, I do have a surprise for you guys, of course. Um, hopefully for those who are here, uh, I, I hope that you brought yourself some pen, paper, something to write notes on, because it is going to be an important session today. You know, we are going to be discussing quite a few things today. And uh, I want to make sure that everybody who's here participating today actually gets the chance to write down whatever it is that I'm going to be sharing. There's going to be some pretty powerful information that I'm going to be sharing. So I want you to you know, grasp as much as you can when it comes to this talk today. Uh, once again, we're going to discuss the idea and concept of the hidden consumer reporting agencies. Now, for the most part, a lot of people just know the three major credit bureaus, which are Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. We've all heard of them. We all use them. You know, we, we think that the majority of our financial transactions that we deal with uh, fall into those three credit bureaus. Now, for the most part, yes, that is correct. You know, if you if you go to borrow, whether it be a credit card, if you want to get a loan, whether you want to get home financing, uh, whether it be a line of credit, the majority of the financial institutions uh, will depend on any of the three bureaus and sometimes all three bureaus themselves. And the reason why it's because they are the biggest and most popular ones, right? They're uh, across the U U.S. They're nationwide, and they basically have a very huge database of what we call furnishers, which is uh, customers and, and and businesses that utilize the eOSCAR, which is the system to report online, uh, depending on if you open a line or if you put a credit card, and most of that information is actually shared um, with the three credit bureaus. So. They are the major ones. They are multi-billion dollar organizations, and they are the ones who report all financial activities. Now, with that being said, of course, we can't kind of discount the other ones, the, the hidden ones that are out there that affect your daily activities, you know, whether it be you going and opening a bank account or whether it be you, you know, going to a medical system and you have certain things and, and disclosures uh, about your medical records and you got other things like utilities. Uh, if you're looking to borrow, rent a place, you know, there are tenant screening, there's background checks. So all these type of things, right, affect the overall consumer activity. It affects the overall financial level of an individual. Now, for most part, you know, we're so accustomed to the three major credit bureaus that we feel, okay, well, these are the only things that we actually need to worry about. But in reality and in actuality, you actually have to worry up and beyond those three credit bureaus because they will affect, like I said, your overall financial circumstances and the way you are. And, and the way you conduct yourself or what you're eligible to borrow. So if you're here today, and I appreciate you being here on Saturday morning, if you're on the West Coast at 10 o'clock, and of course on the East at 1 p.m. right after lunch hour, uh, I want to give you some information today that I want you to take away. I do encourage everyone who's on this presentation once again to have a pen or a notebook with you so that at least you can write some notes down because I'm going to be giving you some phone numbers and some addresses. Uh, that you have to send letters to hopefully if you want to get the free reports on based on the agencies that we're going to be discussing today uh, this video will also be recorded but i want you to uh, focus on actually writing down and taking action right away so that you don't miss out on the great stuff that you can actually you know uh, get access to so without further ado i'm going to get started on this and i want you to please pay close attention if you have any other distractions right now i strongly encourage you to to you know get past that because you know out of the greater things that Best Credit Resources does provide, education is one of them. And when we do educate our customers, when we do educate our audiences, we always want to make sure that we have their full attention because even the slightest thing can make a huge difference on financial levels, right? So this is why we, you know, we do it and we're committed on doing this every Saturday. And beyond that, the channel is always updating content, right? I'm putting out some information that can be useful or helpful, whether it be short or long term. And today in particular is one of those topics that I feel strongly about and I want you to really you know, pay close attention to this and really get into it the proper way. And that is why distractions should be put away, right? Distractions should be put away. You should have a pen and paper once again, so you can take away the information in a very concise and clear manner. <clears throat> and one last topic in point is don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If it's the first time you're here, okay, we're going to be throwing out content on a regular basis. You might as well not miss it. Turn the notifications on, subscribe. Every time we upload a brand new video, you'll be the first to be notified. It's important that you stay up to date with us, whether you do business with us or not. The financial industry is always changing. It's shifting. The education out there, it's, it's very, very limited in terms of the in, insider things. It's very limited in terms of transparency. Uh, you know, I see a lot of people putting out content out there, but they're just holding a lot of information. And that's very, very crucial 
uh, to actually make change on financial levels, right? So this is why Best Quarter Resources is around. So once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on so that you can get the latest content when we upload them. So let's get started. So in today's topic, we're going to talk about the hidden consumer credit reporting agencies. And not just credit reporting, you know, there are other reports, but they are all affected by the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Now, we know the typical three, right? But there are tons of consumer reporting agencies out there. Okay, we only know about Equifax, TransUnion, and, and Experian, but you know they're all interconnected. The other ones that are out there, they do share data and information to verify and report certain items regularly. You know, whether it be a bank account, utilities, uh, even insurance, and there are interconnected bureaus that share a certain degree of information with each other, and they affect the overall circumstance of your financial condition. Now. For the most part, you know, we're, we're we know that okay, we can go out and get some credit reports and just look at that and clean it up and then apply for credit. But there's a lot of other hidden elements that you probably won't know, and you'll get denied. And then you're gonna ask yourself, well, my credit's clean. You know, I have good scores. What's what's going on? Why am I getting denied? And then you're gonna think to yourself that whatever you've done was for nothing. But in reality, there's a lot of other reports that you need to look at. And today I'm going to be discussing those reports and I want you to, you know, like I said, have a pen and paper handy because I'm going to give you the information on how you can actually get those free reports that are, you know, complimentary because they offer you one report per year, all of these ones that I'm going to be describing today, okay? So we're going to discuss about how they each serve a different purpose and go beyond, like I said, the nationwide consumer reporting agencies. We also look at, you know, a lot of people do credit repair. They focus on Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Those are the three main criteria. But if you want to fix your credit, if you want to kind of, you know, tackle the interconnected system so that things don't come back verified or, or things don't, uh, you know, uh, hurt your ability to borrow or, or things don't cripple you blindly because there are a lot of other things that we're not seeing. Uh, credit repair deals with every single reports that we're going to describe today as an interconnected system. And we need to look at that efficiently so that we can say, OK, well, this report is actually corresponding to TransUnion's you know, particular account or or this particular report is reporting to Equifax in a certain way and they're all interconnected and we got to tackle those in a very, very critical manner. So th that is why it's important to just look beyond the big three reports. So we're going to have to describe, you know, what those reports do, what their roles are, right? So what kind of data can you typically find in the other consumer reports that we're, we're going to be talking about today? Well, First of all, we know about the nationwide credit reports, right? The, the ones that we discussed, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. We know about those. Those are the three standard ones. But there's actually an employment screening report, right? So a lot of people will go and apply for jobs, and they're going to say, okay, well, um, you know, you got to do a background check. So most of the people don't know exactly what's going to be showing up. You know, they'll assume that's a police record check and everything. But there's an actual private bureau, right, that gives the information. And most employers will typically have signed up for these. There are two to three of these, but I'm going to give you those information later down this presentation that actually do provide the background check and data that an employer needs to make a just uh, decision when it comes to hiring an individual or an employee. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to also talk about tenant screening. Now, if you've been trying to rent a property or if you're looking at renting, most of us think, okay, well, we can just hand over the credit report and somebody's going to check our credit to see if whether or not, you know, we're eligible for, for renting this apartment. Yes, that is correct, but there is also a third-party verification software and a company that actually provides tenant screening. Why is this important? Well, simple. You know, landlords have to depend beyond uh, the inconsistencies in a credit report, right? Because we all know that the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the latest Equifax breach, it's no surprise that tenants, uh, you know, sorry, landlords have to go up and beyond just the three consumer reporting agencies because of not only the inaccuracies, but uh, the potential errors that can be there. And they are aware of that. Right? They are aware of that. So they need some third-party verification to ensure that whatever data is being reported uh, comes out accurate. And that is where tenant screening steps into the plate. Now, most of you already heard of check systems, right? Oh, my God, I can't open a bank account because this bank because of A, B, and C, right? So we're going to look into those. There's actually two bureaus. A lot of people just know about the check systems. But I'm going to give you another one that you can actually look at. And you can actually obtain a free report on that one as well. And I'm going to teach you on how to do that. Personal property insurance. Now, for the most part, you guys think, okay, well, insurance is not a very big deal. It is actually, you know, depending on how the information is being reported, depending on your credit, depending on a series of other circumstances, this particular reporting agency that reports for property insurance is the difference between you paying an extra $100 to, you know, saving that extra $100.
And this is important because, you know, this actually does affect your overall financial circumstance. What if that extra hundred dollars goes go towards, you know, paying down a bill that you're on a payment plan so that you can increase your cash flow over time, right? All these things matter. All these things matter because end result is if you want a better job, employment screening, you know, you got to see if their information is accurate. You know, if you want a good place to live so you can raise a family, whether you're starting off just as an apartment or you want to upgrade to a home, eventually you're going to have to look at what's actually being reported, right? Including the bank accounts that you open and the type of programs that are available. So all this actually does affect your financial circumstance. Yes. So personal property insurance is a bureau that actually I'm going to share with you uh, how they report, what kind of information and how you can actually get a free copy of that as well. Also medical bureau, very big, big one, right? So the medical information bureau, which I'm going to share the information about where you can actually get the free report. Uh, is the disclosure of all your medical records. Now, a lot of people have medical collections. And, you know, a lot of people have, uh, you know, judgments against them for that. A lot of people are getting, you know, all types of debt collectors trying to collect whatever it is that they're entitled to collect. But it's important that you see, okay, how is this information being reported? How is my medical information being disclosed? And to whom is it being disclosed? And how do I get a free report of that and then figure out exactly what information is actually demonstrated in those reports, right? So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you today. Also, not a lot of people heard of this low income thing and the subprime thing. Well, what's simple as that is, let's say if you're in a section eight housing situation or if you have a low income and then we, we have that information based on your tax records. And if you're actually you know on, on social security, all these type of things are you know disclosed to the government on a regular basis. And the entities that report that are third parties, they're private organizations and they actually do have, and they have to comply with the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And I'm gonna show you one bureau that you can actually get information on uh, if you're in a if you're within that bracket uh, that you can actually see what what kind of information is being disclosed and I'm going to share that information with you today also you know we heard of Lexis Nexus you know there's a couple of other credit bureaus out there uh, that are private they're legal they're data aggregate which basically means you know they pull public records and court records and all sorts of other things uh, to conglomerate and and gather this information and data so that they can actually furnish it themselves uh, to the credit reporting agencies because the credit bureaus actually do rely on these third-party datas uh, to to verify public records in particular okay so i'm going to share that information with you and then there's utilities right so for example if you have a phone company or cable um you know all these type of things they actually do uh come in handy because they look at that third-party uh, company that actually does report utilities to make a decision on whether or not you're a risky customer whether you're going to pay your bills on time how much of a bill that they can actually enforce, what kind of security deposit they'll require. So long as you use your social security number to sign up for something, all this information that I, all the bureaus that I'm going to share with you today, uh, it's important that you get a free copy and see what information is actually being reported because you're entitled to it. There's also retail. We don't go too much into this. It's basically a retail customer's, you know, fraud level, or if, if you're a risky customer or if you've been reported or somewhat. Uh, but those type of bureaus are actually private organizations and you actually need to pay for that. So we're not going to discuss too much into that, but I want to let you know that that is available out there. And of course, gaming. So if you're a casino customer, you're regular, you're a high, you know, blackjack player, uh, there's an actual third party verifier that actually reviews your file, whether, you know, they can say, well, we can actually afford to give this individual credit in the gaming industry. And of course, whether or not if there's a high risk profile on that and how much of a credit they can extend. So there's a bureau for that. We're not going to go too much into that. I just wanted to give you a heads up on, on the availability of this third party bureau that actually does report for gaming commissions and all these other things that uh, when it comes to the online industry for gaming. Okay. Well, one of the key things to know is that you can actually get rejected <clears throat> without warning. You can get rejected without warning. And what that means is like, if you're applying for something and you don't know exactly what is the outcome and then you get rejected, even though your credit looks clean, well, there's an issue because that means there are hidden information that's actually being used and pulled together against your file to make the determination of whether are approving or rejecting right so when it comes to consumer reports everybody that's using it whether it be utilities it would be uh, gaming whether it be uh, medical whether it be tenant screening or background uh, they can actually reject you without any notice or warning because they have the right to do so and this can happen even if your reports are inaccurate and without your knowledge right and inaccurate reports only just mean the three credit bureaus you know, they're, they're like I you know, mentioned, all these other bureaus, they can be part of that. They can be the part of where the decision of you being denied is based on one of those one of those other extra bureaus, okay? So it is your duty and role to keep up and make sure that not only are all the reports that we described today are demonstrating accurate information, but they're also up to date. Because if they aren't, 
that can actually affect your financial circumstances. Right? If they aren't, that can actually affect the way uh, you're eligible for certain rights and certain tools and products or even services. So you need to make sure that you request any of the reports that I'm going to mention that actually attribute to a certain activity. Now, whether it be renting a car, banking, getting a job, or even applying for a rent uh, for an apartment. You know, all these type of things is, is, your, is your rightful obligation to actually go out there and get that information and, and get the knowledge on whether or not they're actually reporting accurately. So that's very, very critical. Now, we're going to identify each of those roles and reports. I'm going to share that information with you today. So this is the part where your pen and paper come in handy. This is the part where you're going to have to write notes down. Uh, excuse me for two seconds. Yeah, sorry about that. There was a technical problem here. Okay, so now let's begin. Let's begin on, on those reports, and uh, I hope you're ready to write these notes down. Once again, it will be recorded, uh, but you do need this information, okay? Now we know about the credit scores. Of course, you have Equifax, you have Experian, and TransUnion. Typically, you can actually get a free copy of those reports once a year by going to annualcreditreport.com, or you can just basically mail them a request with your identification. So you send it over to annual credit report, request service, and then you write it as PO Box 105281, Atlanta, Georgia, with the zip of 303-48-5281. So please keep this uh, in your notes. This is if you have to actually write to the credit bureaus and get a credit report uh, based on annualcreditreport.com. Once again, that's one free report once a year under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Okay, so let's go over to the next slide. And, and by the way, for those who are writing it down and if you don't catch this information, uh, you actually have this recording. And my channel, if you're subscribed, you can actually go back to this recording. You, typically after this session is done, it'll be available within 10 to 15 minutes. And we discussed the idea of background checks and the consumer report that actually provides this information to individuals who are doing their due diligence on you and what kind of information is available. And there's a lot of bureaus that actually share background checks information. Uh, but for, for today, the most important ones that I'm going to describe are the ones that you actually have to write down. So there's one called accurate background, right? You can request a free report by either calling them or writing to them. And this phone number is 1-800-216-8024. Once again, that's 1-800-216-8024. Or you can write to Accurate Background Inc. And you write it to the Dispute Department, Attention D Dispute Department. And they're actually in 7515 Irvine Center Drive. That's Irvine, California. At 90, uh, 9, zip code at 92618. Once again, that's 7515 Irvine Center Drive, Irvine, California. At 92618. That's Accurate Background. They provide background data information. You're eligible for one free report once a year. You can actually request uh, to see what exactly is information that is being shared with third parties. Then you also have the First Advantage Corporation. Now, the First Advantage Corporation acts as similar as Accurate Background. They just have additional information that's potentially useful to anybody who's doing the diligence on you. You can actually get a free report as, as well from these guys. You have to actually call in 1-800-845-6004. Once again, that's 1-800-845-6004. Or you can write to First Advantage Consumer Center at P.O. Box 105292, Atlanta, Georgia, 30348-5292. Once again, that's P.O. Box 105292, Atlanta, Georgia, at the zip code of 30348-5292. Once again, this will be recorded, but if you want to write this down, feel free to do so. And um, we can move on to the next report. Tenant screening. This is very critical. When it comes to renting an apartment or a condo, the landlords will depend on third parties. And one of the most popular ones is Contemporary Information Corporation. Okay. That's CIC. Their phone number is 1-800-288-4757. Uh, you have to press option five to get a request of a free report that you're eligible for. Every, you know, They provide this information once a year under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You can actually obtain this report by going to 1-800 or calling in, excuse me, 1-800-288-4757, option five, or you can write to CIC Reports Consumer Relations, and the address is 42913 Capital Drive, Unit 101 at Lancaster, California, 93535. Once again, that's 42913 Capital Drive, Unit 101 at Lancaster, California, 
and the zip code is 93535. You have to address the letter to CIC Reports Consumer Relations. You get a free copy and you're eligible for that once a year. And there's CoreLogic Rental Property Solutions. That's a very common one for commercial, especially those um, you know landlords that own several hundred units or more. Uh, typically, it's a commercial solution. So you can actually get a free copy of whatever is being reported by these individuals at, by dialing in the 188-1888-333-2413, option one. Once again, that's 1-888-333-2413, option one. Or alternatively, you can write to CoreLogic Rental Property Solutions, LLC, Attention Consumer Relations, and you can actually send a letter to P.O. Box 509124, San Diego, California. Once again, that's P.O. Box 509124, San Diego, California, under the zip code of 92150. So please have this information written down. Uh, I hope it's not going way too fast for you that you can write it down if you're able to. Please do that. Again, you can play this recording once again to have all this information. Uh, but I just wanted to provide that to you. This is for tenant screening that landlords utilize. We can move on to the next report. Check and bank screening. Yeah, this is a critical one. For the most part, we heard of like check systems and all that. So this is more than just check systems. I'm going to give you two of them, but I want you to just you know get that. So of course, you're aware of um, banking and then of course, deposit institutions and all these individuals like FDIC, they all share this database. So this one's called our Curtigy Check Services. Again, that's, I'm not sure if it's spelled Curtigy or Curtigy. I'm just saying Curtigy Check Services. You can actually call them in at one 800 237 3826. They actually give you a free report there. All these ones that I'm sharing with you, the, the bureaus, they actually are providing a free report once a year. So you're entitled to that. So again, the strategy check services at 1 800 237 3826. Or you can write to strategy check services incorporated. Attention CFDR request at PO Box 30046, Tampa, Florida. Zip code is 33630 32. Nine six. Once again, that's PO Box three zero zero four six, Tampa, Florida three three six three zero dash three two nine six, at uh, Georgi Check Services Inc. And of course, we have our traditional check systems, right? You can actually call these guys and get a free request or of a report at one 9623 They will ask some verification questions. Most of these bureaus that I shared with you will ask for some verification because you obviously, they want to make sure that they're actually providing you uh, the accurate data. So make all that information available when you are calling it. Also, Check Systems, if you want to write to them, you go to Check Systems, Inc. You put it under the attention of Consumer Relations. The address is 7805 Hudson Road, Suite 100 at Woodbury, Minnesota at 55125. Once again, that's 7805 Hudson Road, Suite number 100 at Woodbury, Minnesota at 55125. So please have that information written down uh, so that you can actually, after this conversation we're having today at Finance Talk, take all that data that I'm sharing, all the bureaus that I've shared so far, actually all provide a free report. Uh, do some homework, actually go and request that. It's not going to cost you a lot, maybe a dollar at most. If, if you want to do it for free, just call these guys up and, and request that report and provide them with the uh, with your address, right? Personal property insurance. Now, this is very important because... You know, of course, if you're going to buy a property eventually, uh, you want to see what kind of insurance you're eligible for. And this is something that you absolutely need to do. And of course, you're entitled to know exactly what kind of information is reported to the insurance companies that are doing their background check on you prior to approving a policy or any type of underwriting decision. OK, so these guys are called A plus property. Again, that's a dash plus property. You can call these guys up at 1-800-627-3487. Press option number two to get a free request or a report. Or alternatively, you can actually write to them. It's A Plus Consumer Inquiry Center. Their address is uh, four five, uh, sorry, five four five Washington Boulevard in Florida. Um, it's it's uh, sorry, not Washington Boulevard. What am I saying? It's um, five four five Washington Boulevard, floor number twenty two. Apologies, New Jersey. Okay, so it's uh, Jersey City in New Jersey zero seven three one zero dash one six eight six. Once again, that's. 545 Washington Boulevard, floor number 22, Jersey City in New Jersey, 07310-1686. So these guys are for rental property insurance or regular property insurance. Then you have Clue Inc., which is personal property and auto reports, right? So that's, and then there's a little dot in between the words Clue. So C.L.U.E. 
Inc. Their phone number is 1-866-312-8076 for your free report. Uh, or you can alternatively write to Clue Inc. Consumer Center at P.O. Box 105295 Atlanta, Georgia. The zip code is 30348-5295. Once again, that's P.O. Box 105295 Atlanta, Georgia 30348-5295. This is for personal property insurance, okay? So if you're thinking of properties, uh, even if you're not, right, what kind of information is being reported about you, uh, just make sure that you get those two free reports. I advise you call them so you can get a free copy. If not, you can always write to them. Medical, this is a very critical one, right? So we're going to discuss the idea of the Medical Information Bureau. Now for these guys, it's MIB Inc. You can call them to get a free report. It's one uh, 692 6901. Once again, that's 1 692 6901. Alternatively, you can always write to them at MIB Inc. The address is 50 Braintree Hill Park, Suite 400 at Braintree, Massachusetts, at 02184 8734. Okay. So please write that down. This is important. I hope I said Massachusetts or it's a Maine. I'm not sure. These states confuse me. But again, that's 50 Braintree Hill Park Suite 400 Braintree. State is MA. 02184-8734. Alternatively, you always call them up at 1-866-692-6901. Uh, this is for low income and subprime. For those individuals that are actually Section 8 or, or have families in them and, and basically are helping or servicing that industry, uh, most of the individuals are actually going to these bureaus to get the information. So that's uh, Clar Clarity Services. Again, that's Clarity Services. There's two options here. It's 1-866-390-3118 uh, for option one if you want to do a security freeze on this company so that they can report. Or if you want to obtain a credit report or a report that's actually showing your information. Once again, that's 1-866-390-3118. Option number four for a request of a free report. Alternatively, you can always write to these guys as well at Clarity Services, Inc., P.O. Box 5717, Clearwater, Florida, at 33758. There's also another one. It's called CoreLogic Teletrack. Okay, CoreLogic Teletrack also provides information on you guys when it comes to subprime or, or low income. So 1-877-309-5226 for a free report, or you can write to them at CoreLogic Teletrack. You have to address it to Consumer Disputes Department. You have to write to them at P.O. Box 509-124. Again, that's 509-124, San Diego, California, 92150. So please write this down. And, and of course, uh, take away this information. So I hope you guys are with me so far. I know it's a lot of content. I know it's a lot of information. But uh, typically, you can just get away with the phone number and call these guys up and report, request a free report right away after this call or even on Monday, hopefully. Okay. Legal and data aggregators. These are individuals that report public information or private information, uh, depending on court cases and any type of legal matters uh, to the consumer reporting agencies that overall affect the borrowing or underwriting criteria. We already heard of LexisNexis. LexisNexis is a very good one. You can actually call them up for a free report. Uh, they're supposed to give you a free one once every 12 months. Uh, so you can go to Nexus, LexisNexis Risk Solutions, one 866 897-8126. Again, once again, that's 1-866-897-8126. Uh, you can also write to them, uh, LexisNexis Consumer Center. Uh, you have to address it to full file disclosure. Attention, full file disclosure. PO Box 105108, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Zip code is 30348-5108. Once again, the zip code is 30348-5108. There's also another one. It's called Sage Stream. Okay, Sage Stream actually is a reporting agency that takes inquiries. Like for example, if you're applying for cars, credit cards, and that's the processing center that actually provides all the inquiries to the credit bureaus as well as um, you know other aggregating data. Typically, it goes through them. Uh, you can request a free report at one eight eight one triple eight sorry three nine five zero two seven seven. Press option one for a free report, or you can write to them at Sage Stream. LLC Consumer Office, P.O. Box 503-793, San Diego, California, at 92150. Again, this is Sage Stream. Typically, these are the individuals that report your inquiries to the credit bureau, among other third parties. 
So you have that information. Request a free report to see what's happening out there. A utilities. Now, this is, you know, of course, you want to get something better. You don't want to put that with the security deposits. And you don't want to be uh, basically looked at as a biased person who, who basically has to put like security deposits because of your circumstances. Now, let's look at what information is being reported when it comes to applying for utilities or getting something. So the first place you want to apply with, you know, whether it be a phone, whether it be, you know, gas, electric, it's called the National Consumer Telecommunications and Utilities Exchange. It's quite a mouthful. Uh, but you can call them for a free report. They're supposed to give you one once a year. The phone number to do this is 1-866-349-5185. Press option one. Or alternatively, you can write to them, as always. And here's the address. It's NCTUE, Disclosure Report, PO Box 105161, Atlanta, Georgia, 30348 is the zip code. Okay, once again, that's... NCTUE Disclosure Report, P.O. Box 105161, Atlanta, Georgia. Zip code is 30348. So these guys actually do provide a free report. So if you want to see what's happening, how utility companies are making decisions on you, uh, on all these type of uh, things, including late payments, by the way, they're reported on this agency. So you might want to take a look at that. And uh, you never know if these guys are the ones reporting to your credit reports, right? So have a look. I, like I said, it's an interconnected system. You, you want to tackle every single comp component, excuse me, uh, within that interconnected system. Look, you're dealing with best credit resources. We're only going to give you the best. And it's just simple as that. And even if it's re-education that's going to help you along the way, well, we want to be that trusted resource that you can refer to so that you get the accurate information, okay? So that's it. You know, that was it. Uh, it was a very lengthy finance talk, I understand. There's a lot of information that you guys took away. Uh, but if you have any questions, typically you can always email me at talk at bestcreditresources.com. But I'll be more than happy to if you leave a comment below this video uh, or even in the chat box, uh, I can have a look. Probably malfunctional at this time because last time somebody asked me a question, I couldn't see it. I'm not sure Google Hangouts why they do this. Uh, but if anything, you know, after this video is done and it's recorded, you can leave your questions or comments below the video once the recording is available. Or alternatively, you can write to me at talk at bestcreditresources.com. Okay. Uh, so let me tell you something. All this information that I shared with you, if you wrote the numbers down, this recording is going to be available again, so you can always refer to it to get that information. Uh, but I want you to do some homework. Okay, I'm going to leave you off with that. I'm going to ask you to actually go and call those companies that I shared the data with and ask them for a free report. I want you to, see, maybe there's going to be 12, 15 different reports, but heck, it's important that you know what's actually being reported about you out there, especially when you use your social security number, right? So it's free. It's all for free. You're you're eligible. If they ever give you other you know crap and they say no 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 you have to pay you just look under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, under the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. I know that I'm eligible for a free report once a year. So you can dispute that. Okay, and you can actually get a free report based on all the reports that are in reporting agencies that I share with you today. And you know this brings us back to the topic of this channel particularly, right? So if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you found some value. Make sure you do that. Turn the notifications on again. It's important that you do so, so you can get most up-to-date content and information that we share. Alternatively, just to look at exactly what we shared with you today is behind the scenes of the, of the issues and obstacles that we help our clients face in terms of challenges. We don't just work with the credit bureaus. There's a lot of other things that we do behind the scenes to help them uh, get a more clear perspective in terms of financial confidence and to help them, of course, uh, get AAA credit rating, okay? This is your guide and mentor, Ali Tarafter. I thank you, first of all, for being here on this Saturday morning. If you're on the West Coast and the afternoon, if you're on the East, I look forward to giving you more great value. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I look forward to speaking with you again, my friends. Thank you. And bye for now.